So I think most of us can agree that the days between Christmas and New Year's are a total blur. Like brain off, recharge time, sleep time, family time, friend time. It has been so good for my soul and my mind and just everything to take this time to relax and recharge and prep for 2024. 2024 the plot. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. It's been so nice just to focus on myself and really what I'm needing at the moment and getting ready for this next year. Can't even believe we're here. <laughs> Welcome back. We've made it. Honestly, I could not be more excited <laughs> for a fresh start. Test, test, testing. I bought a mini mic, just kind of looked fun. The thing is, 2023, I think, was the best year of my life to this point. I feel like I really truly lived to the fullest. I did everything. I said yes to every opportunity or most opportunities. I think I grew significantly as a human being. I traveled a ton. I made new friends. I feel the most inspired that I've ever felt to be better and to grow and improve my life and my surroundings, like everything. I just feel like this year I really did the most and I feel like I, I just lived. I, this was the best year of my life. There is nothing that I would have done differently because I think that all of the challenges that I did face this year, ultimately I grew from, I learned a lot. And I think the biggest thing is that it made me dig deeper into myself and reflect a little bit more on why certain things were happening and what I want and just like priority check a little bit. I also feel like I really grew out of my comfort zone. I was pushed to grow a little bit more and I'm so thankful for it because so many things that I have right now are because I pushed myself and I wouldn't have them without some of the challenges that I faced in 2023. Right before Christmas, like the 23rd of December, I got hit in the face. Not literally, but like I got mentally slapped in the face and it was horrible. And that is why I stopped vlogging abruptly. I was gonna film a Christmas vlog, but you know what? Circumstances were out of my control and I was not in a headspace to film a happy Christmas vlog. I just wasn't and that sucks. And I was really upset about it because I had a vision for what I wanted that vlog to be, the last vlog of the year. And ultimately I knew that I couldn't and I didn't wanna be fake and put on a fake smile and act like I was totally fine because I wasn't. We can talk more about that later, but having that happen right over Christmas just really pushed me to take some time and like sit in my feelings, sit without vlogging and like just think about what I wanna do and all these things. So ultimately I'm very grateful that it happened. Would I have been happier if it happened on the 26th? Yes, but you know, things are out of our control. We could only control how we handle them. And all in all, I'm grateful it happened. I'm getting to end this year a little stronger because every hard time pushes you to become a better human being. And as per usual, I love New Year's. I love a reset and I feel like this year is going to be my best year ever. And I had the same feeling in 2023. I felt so confident that this was going to be my year. So I can only imagine what's to come for the next 12 months. I mean, I have a little mini mic now and I like it. It just makes me feel, I don't know, I like it. I'm <laughs> so ready to start this new year on like the best note ever. So we are actually gonna prep in advance. Not gonna wait till the first or the second to start planning and prepping and getting myself in that mindset. I think, you know, it's never too early to start on your goals. And I've been working on mine and really planning for this next year uh, for the last week. And I'm really, really excited. I'm actually only in the city for another three days. So these next three days, I gotta make them count. And one of my biggest goals this year is my health. It's actually my number one thing that I want to work on in all regards. We'll talk about it, but I'm gonna start that off with some meal prep, so. Mic down. So as mentioned, one of my biggest goals for 2024 is my health. I just wanna really prioritize it. I want to do things that are better for me. Get rid of things that I've been doing that I know are not good for me, that do not benefit me. Find balance in diet and fitness. And you know, finishing off this year, I, I feel like I definitely have prioritized it more than I ever have in my life. And I like the way that it makes me feel mentally, physically, the whole thing. So it's my top priority for next year, actually. Truthfully, most of that is gonna start after I get back from my next trip, which I leave for in three days. But that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna start now and work on what I can work on while I'm here. I want to use this year to really work on the person that I wanna be in this next chapter of my life. And so we're gonna, we're gonna talk about it. That's a topic for another day. Right now, I'm having some veggies. As always, 
always with my broccoli, I just seasoned with oil, salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and then cayenne, like super simple. That's gonna cook for like 20 minutes. I'm going to blanch my green beans. I've never cooked green beans before, but it seems pretty easy. I'm just gonna blanch them for a few minutes and then we're gonna saute them with like butter and salt and garlic, of course. And that's really it for today's prep. We're gonna do more prep tomorrow. tonight to prepare for tomorrow, the last day of the year, but I need to put on pajamas. I have 50 pages left of my 50th book of the year. It happens to be New Year's themed because I like to pick books based on the time of the year and this just feels fitting. Same time next year. This is a fake marriage trope. It's kind of interesting. I'm enjoying it and I think it's about to get really spicy. It's 6 p.m. I should be done by seven. We're diving in. We're checking off the book goal for 2023 right now. cute ending. Book 50. Who would have thought? Not me. 50 books in 2023. I will be going over all of the books I read in 2023, giving you my favorites and all that stuff, but I'm gonna have some dinner at seven o'clock now. Veggies, chicken, rice, and I will see you tomorrow for the last day of 2023. So I decided to start the last day of the year with a Run. Running is something that I started in really, really 2021, but getting into it in like a very serious way started in, I would say, September. I will likely be making this my entire personality in 2024. I'm kidding, but like also <laughs> not so much. Either way, there's a couple things that running did for me in the last four months of the year that gave me something to really work towards that would be good for me. I have achieved a lot of goals at a young age, and I just really needed something in my life to strive towards that I could see improvement on. And running for me, like, has really done that. I can watch myself improve slowly, but you know, improvement nonetheless. And there's plenty of time to get better and work on this. The second thing, which is probably the biggest thing is that it pushed me out of my comfort zone, like significantly. Obviously starting off on my treadmill alone in the basement was a comfort zone for me. It was easy to stick to. I have always felt like I just look really silly when I run. And the thought of running outside where people can see me is the most embarrassing thing in the entire world. I was bullied when I was younger, like a lot. And I think that little girl is still somewhere inside of me. And sometimes I just hear myself being like, oh my God, they're probably laughing at me in their heads. And so I just limit myself and limit what I'm able to do because I'm too afraid of what people are gonna think about me, which is sad, but it's the truth. So the first time when I ran on the track, it showed me that first of all, it's not embarrassing. Two, I think it also inspired me more because I got to be outside and I got to see other people running. It didn't matter how fast they were running or how slow, like I looked at them and I was inspired. I think it is so motivating to watch other people show up for themselves and running is such a solo sport. And so for the last run of the year, I decided to push my comfort zone even further and leave the track. <laughs> the track started to feel safe to me. Even though there were people there looking at me, I felt okay. You know, I was running, I was out there doing something for myself, but I decided to run around the neighborhood, around the track, and it felt really good. And I'm just really excited. I think doing anything that's slightly out of your comfort zone is going to make you a better person. It's gonna make you happier. At least that's what it's done for me. It was not my best run, but it was a run nonetheless. I had every excuse in the book not to go on a run today, but I'm glad I did it. I pushed myself today outside my comfort zone and that felt good. A win is a win. I did it. And now I gotta cool off before I can shower. 
So the main reason I actually ended up pushing myself to run on the track for the first time was because yet another guy really just did a number on me. This one just totally blindsided me and I was not expecting it at all. And I just like needed a release. I wanted some fresh air and I also wanted to get my run in. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna push myself. If I can go through this again, I can run outside. Like I'm gonna be fine. And I was texting Sarah about it and she said something that just made a massive difference in my mindset. It, like just really stuck with me. We were talking about how I really tried with dating this year. Like in 2023, I put myself out there. I really tried to find a connection and somebody that I could maybe see potential with every month, multiple times. I put myself out there and that's hard. Like it's hard to put yourself out there. You gotta be really vulnerable and willing to get hurt. Like it's just, it's hard. And I ended this year without really much to show for it. That's not true even in the slightest, but that's where my head was at that day. And Sarah said to me, she was like, 2023 was not the year for you to find the love of your life. 2023 was the year to find love and friendship. And she was 100% right in that. Like I became close with Sarah this year. I made more friends this year than I've made in my entire adulthood, like collectively in one year and ending this year with all the friends that I do is something like I have always dreamed of genuinely like that sounds so cheesy but that's just how I feel. This year ended up being the year of all years in terms of friendships and I wouldn't have had these same kind of memories or like the same capacity of memories if I had met somebody earlier in the year. Like there's so many trips and things that would have just looked different if I had a boyfriend. And that thought kind of makes me sad. Like so much of this year would have looked differently if things had gone differently. And I'm so glad that they didn't because this was the best year of my life. Like I have so many memories that I made this year that I, I just like wouldn't have had if anything had been different. Everything happens for a reason the way they're supposed to. 2023 was a year for friendship and I grew a lot through all the dating. Like I don't have a boyfriend to show for the efforts that I put in this year, but I have a better version of me at the end of it. And I'm so thankful. I'm just gonna pretend it's clean in here right now. <laughs> it's not. I think we all know the things that hold us back, like the bad habits that we keep, the things that we know we could do better, but we just don't because it's so easy to get stuck in your comfort zone and you know stick to the status quo. Like that is my thing. I have a hard time switching things up, which is why I love a New Year's because I have every excuse to just be better. I know some people don't like putting pressure on themselves to change up so many things just because it's January 1st. Like it's really just another day, but I like to see it as a new opportunity 12 months ahead to improve, to look back back on to reflect like I just I that's how I like to do things also you know sometimes there's not just one way of doing things and if you have chicken anxiety like me <laughs> you can buy for the same price cooked chicken at Whole Foods it's essentially the same cost but this way the chicken anxiety it's minimized and I get to eat my protein so that's something <laughs> mm, mm. something that also helps with the chicken anxiety it's like having veggies with different textures and then you eat it all in one bite and you don't know if it's like a weird chicken bite or if it's just the texture of the veggies really helps at least with my mindset re chicken so <laughs> And we're back with the mini mic. So there are two things that I wanna talk about. I said in a video in December that I wanted to try new things in 2024 with my content. I wanted to switch things up, you know, it just felt a little repetitive for me. The last time that I tried this was in 2021 and I threw in some voiceovers and people, people did not like it. So I said, I learned my lesson, no more voiceovers. <laughs> now we're gonna circle back to this conversation, but my word of the year for 2023 was confidence. I wanted to feel more confident in myself in all regards. Like I wanted to feel more confident in my decisions, the person that I am, the person that I'm becoming, my actions, my choices, like everything. And typically I am somebody that's a little bit more on the indecisive side. I have a hard time making choices and like well-rounded opinions of things without other people's opinions. I've just always looked for validation in the things that I do. Now I'm still going to do that. Like I respect the hell out of the people in my life and I trust their opinions and I value them. And I think those opinions are very important. I feel like by the end of 2023 right now, I feel the most confident in myself and my future that I've ever felt. With pushing myself this year, I just feel like I can push myself more and I can do hard things. I can do things that I wanna do that I feel like are impossible to actually do. I've done things that were hard for me. And I think the more that you do those things, the easier they get and just the more attainable they feel. Now circling back, I really didn't know how I wanted to structure this vlog. I still don't really know. And I've been editing along the way. <laughs> All I know is that I'm just going with what pops into my head first, what I think that I wanna do, what I think I wanna say, and just like, 
riding that wave instead of overthinking the heck out of whatever I'm saying and how I'm editing this together and worrying that people aren't gonna like it. This morning, I actually sat down and watched my vlog from 2021, the one that got lots of feedback, which I'm appreciative of, but at the time I didn't have the confidence to take it and even feel confident moving forward with experimenting. Like I just, I felt like, oh my God, okay, like gotta go back to what's safe. And I went right back to the comfort zone. But I watched that vlog this morning and watching it the way that I feel right now, I wish that I had kept trying. Like maybe it wasn't perfect, but it was my first attempt at trying something new. And I can look back at it now and be like, that was a good vlog. Like I actually feel really proud of that version of what I was putting out versus the mundane nothingness. And I know that mundane nothingness can be really great. Like I like watching people sit down and do nothing and talk about random stuff. Like I love that. But being a person that also just really wants to grow, I just feel like I need to push myself and I have the confidence now to know that if the first time doesn't work out with whatever I decide to try, then maybe the second time or the third time. But the key is to keep trying. Like don't give up if your first attempt at something new doesn't work 100%. Like that's a given, but I, just didn't feel comfortable. But I'm at a place right now where I really, really wanna keep doing that. I wanna keep trying new things. I have no idea what the structure of all my future vlogs are gonna be, but I just wanna roll with what inspires me, what excites me and go from there. For so long, I have been tied to the opinions of others, what people think of me, what people expect of me, that I think it really stunted my growth. And I think that we all reach a point in our lives as we get older, that we are so ready to break that tie and like just do our own thing, do what fuels us. And that brings me to my word of 2024, which is going to be empowerment, empowered. I want to lead with that mindset through this year, whatever inspires me and motivates me and empowers me to be better. I wanna feel stronger than I've ever felt before at the end of this year. I already know that that's what's gonna happen because I feel so confident in going into this year and what I want it to look like at the end. I'm excited about it and I am so, ready to wake up tomorrow morning, probably hungover. Either way, I'm just ready to wake up, fresh start, new year, January 2nd. <laughs> we have a couple more things to prep before tonight's festivities. And the first thing being a little self tanner. <laughs> I just love the confidence boost of some self tanner. Letting my hair air dry as usual. And we're using extra dark. We're only gonna have this on for a couple of hours before I have to actually get ready for tonight. But any little bit will do. I saw a TikTok this morning talking about how you're not supposed to clean actually on New Year's Day. It's like some superstition about washing away all of the good fortune coming into your life in a new year. I don't know. I don't know how much I believe in that stuff but I may as well just not clean tomorrow. I'm already gonna be hung over on the couch probably with Chipotle. I'm doing a very messy application here, but I'm gonna clean the house tonight so I can actually wake up tomorrow and have at least one thing feeling appropriate for my new 2024 self, <laughs> which is a clean space. I'm a strong believer that your mind and your space go hand in hand. If I have a messy house, like it's gonna be a mess up here, but I'm gonna spend the next 30 minutes cleaning the house, just tidying up. It's not even really messy right now, but I just need a little tidy and then I'm gonna relax on the couch until it's time to go. We're gonna start in the kitchen. midnight till 2024. Special little New Year's headband. I got it in some kind of PR box. We're gonna take off this tanner. I actually feel like it's gonna turn out looking pretty good. It's time to get ready. I've just been chilling on the couch after finishing cleaning, but you can tell the top layer of the tanner comes off and it looks super natural. Like, does it even look like it did anything at all? I don't know, but it doesn't look crazy. And that is what matters most. So this year for New Year's, Sarah's hosting at her place. There's gonna be like, I think around 20 people. My ideal New Year's Eve is a house party. Like, I just think it's the best just to like be at somebody's place, play games. Sarah made a trivia of 2023 things. So that should be really fun. Like it's gonna be a really fun night. Jill and Connor are in the city. So they're actually gonna come as well and get to meet everybody, which is gonna be fun. I am having a shot of espresso so that I can stay up 
all night. I go to bed at like 11 usually. So the espresso will come in handy. Everyone likes to make fun of me for being the first one to go to bed, but like this is just who I am. <laughs> Cheers. Last New Year's, I genuinely would not believe that I'm spending this New Year's with like all these friends that I was not friends with this time last year. I'm like, that's so weird. <sighs> Anyways, let's get ready. Ready. This is my third time wearing this outfit, but the goal of tonight was to look cute But also like be comfy because it's a comfy cozy New Year's in and this is the perfect in between for me because it's incredibly comfortable Like this is just comfy, but I feel like I look super cute And then I decided to add a little bow in the back and I think it's a sleigh for 2024. I'm ready Let's do it That's a good bowl. It looks wintery. Dry January for many of you. I'm so You know, I didn't end up being hungover yesterday, but I was so tired. I sat on the couch the entire day. Like I didn't move, I didn't talk, it was perfect. And now, January 2nd, I'm up, I have my coffee. The sun isn't even up yet, which feels actually kind of unacceptable. But anyways, good morning, happy new year. Up bright, and not bright, but early <laughs> to get some work done and uh, we're gonna make this a good day. I haven't looked at the app. 2.3 miles. That is my longest run ever. Nope, sorry. Why did I say that? 4.3. Did I say 2.3? What is that in kilometers? That is almost seven kilometers. That's six. I wish I kept going. If I had known, I would have kept going. 6.91 kilometers. And I ran that at a seven, 7.25 kilometer pace. 51 minutes. I can't believe I just did that. Oh my God. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. I didn't mean to do that. And I would say I ran like 90% of that, maybe 10% walking. Wow. I have been so stuck at five kilometers because in my head I can't do more. Like I just mentally tap out there. I'm like, okay, five is a lot. And then because I think that, like my body will just start slowing down. I'm like, okay, it's time to stop. I can't believe, I, I gotta call my dad. He's gonna be so excited. Something else I love about running like love, 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 or at least running outside, is the other people on runs. Like I was running through the cemetery and another woman was coming in the opposite direction of me and we just like smiled and waved. And in my head, it's like acknowledging each other, being like, you go girl, like you're out here this morning, you're doing your thing. January 2nd, it's cold outside and you showed up for yourself. And it's so empowering. I just love it. I ran my longest run ever today and I didn't even mean to. I ran seven. Wow. I could believe it. Holy shit. I am 
legitimately so proud of myself. <laughs> like I can't believe that I did that this morning. Now that I've done that, I know I can do it again, which means I can continue to push myself and go further and get better. <sighs> For those of you that have never had any kind of workout routine and like started building one, you know how this feels. Like it just feels like I'm finally doing it and it feels amazing. It's 11 now. I'm just gonna have a little protein shake and then I'm gonna have lunch in a little bit, but I just wanna have this while I do some editing. Really wanted to make today the best day because obviously I didn't do anything yesterday and we leave tomorrow morning for Orlando, Florida. This vlog is going up on my 29th birthday and I will be celebrating in Disney World. <laughs> Jill is coming over here this afternoon. We're gonna do some vision boarding, taking down the tree today, which is sad, but I also do like fresh, clean slate. I wanna come back from Florida, get into like the new year mindset. I love the tree, I really do but Christmas is behind us. Okay, okay, okay. You got my vanilla shake and I will be here. Happy New Year! All the guests is in. Oh, all the bows have to go? The bows gotta go. Aren't they so cute? Cutest little things I ever did see. Yeah, I remember the same. Yeah. It's the top, the top I, I... Yeah, and then it kind of comes out. Oh. Nice. Okay. Nice. You sure? Yep. And this little, what a treat. And the blankie. Whoa! <laughs> nice! Oh, there we go. And just like that, the tree is gone. Goodbye Christmas. It looks so bare there now. Like I have to readjust to this just this little small tree. Either way, happy to have that taken care of. Jill is on her way here now for the Jarrah sleepover before we leave for Florida tomorrow morning. Before she gets here, I actually wanted to look at my 2023 goals and go over them with you guys. See what we did, see what we didn't do. I made this January 9th, 2023. I had a financial goal, which I surpassed, love that. To completely move out of LA, have one home and a hell of a lot of freedom. <laughs> That's what I wrote down. Three, build a healthier morning routine, skincare, wake up early, make my bed daily. I got better at that. I can't say I 100% completed that goal, but I definitely got better. Following that, I had build a healthier night routine, 10 minute cleanup before bed, skincare, read, no devices after nine o'clock. Again, we worked on it. We're not perfect. This is something I'm gonna work on forever. So this year is gonna be better than last, but at least I put that as a goal and I am striving towards it. Get into the best shape of my life. Didn't do that at the end of 2023, but I do feel like by the end, I mean, I guess it's kind of true. I am in better shape than I've been in ever. So so actually, I guess that's true. But by the end of this year, I feel like I'm gonna feel very confident about my fitness. Read 30 books, I read 50. Stop thinking about what other people think of me. It doesn't matter, still working on that. But definitely, you know, massive improvements there. And lastly was to travel once a month. And I actually did manage to do that. I kept it pretty chill with the goals. I just wanted to improve, honestly. I think it's more so about setting intentions than harsh goals, because if you don't complete them, it's kind of a bummer. I also think it's cool to set goals quarterly instead of for the whole year, just easier to maintain, I think. Been working on figuring out all my goals for this year, which I will share in another video. But I'm gonna make some lunch before Jill gets here, and then it's just gonna be a nice work afternoon. We're gonna do some vision boarding. It has been many hours. Jilly and I have had a wonderful work day. Yay. And it's vision board time. We do this every year and we're gonna make ones for our laptop and then also for our phones, as we do every year. It's the best. Here's the vision board. Stunning. Thank Stunning. you. I have a like, kind of section by goals. No idea the last time I saw the it. vibes are gonna be immaculate. I think like could be approaching a decade since my last Twilight watch. For real, for real? 
And that's the first vlog back. 2024 is gonna be the best year ever for all of us. I know it, I feel it. I feel like it's giving 2016 energy, like just good vibes all around. I'm so excited for all of us. I'm so excited for the videos I'm gonna make this year and just trying new things and experimenting and pushing myself. And I hope to inspire you to also push yourself a little bit out of your comfort zone. Life will come in waves. Not every day is gonna be perfect and that's okay, but this is gonna be our year. I feel it and I'm so, so, so excited. I will be seeing you Tuesday and Friday and maybe sometimes other days, but you can count on Tuesday, Friday uploads this year. And I will see you guys on Tuesday with my birthday vlog. I'm so excited. See ya.